Hey Russ, it's Scott. We met at BNI yesterday, and I wanted to just make you this quick video, kind of showing you uh, your, you know, your website audit and a bunch of different things about either ads or GBP, things like that. Um, so hopefully this is helpful for you, and we'll talk about it soon. But here's your website right here, and I really like the website. I think it's really cool that you guys have your own uh, people doing the video right up top, which is pretty sweet. Um, but one thing that I would really recommend for your website is to add more content. The reason I say that is Google loves to see content. They want to see 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage alone. And throughout that content, you want to be found for buyer intent words, which are like carpet cleaning in an area, so in Salt Lake, Davis, and Weber counties. Um, and the reason for that is when people search, they'll be searching for carpet cleaning Salt Lake City, carpet cleaning Ogden, you know, things like that. But the other thing you can also do is to save all your images as alt tags. And this says cleaning city car. <clears throat> and that could be, you know, cleaning, car carpet cleaning, Salt Lake City, or, you know, one of those fire intent keywords. Um, I do use a tool car called Arifs, and this kind of gives me your analytics and it shows me that you're at 344 words on your homepage. And your first header is actually call, which is right up here, which shouldn't have that be a header anyway, but it should be breathed easier with expertly clean carpets, Salt Lake City or something like that. So you have a buyer and tech keyword in the H1 tag. Um, I'm going to also show you kind of some searches. So carpet cleaning near me, this is for uh, just Salt Lake County, but as you can see, there's 5,000 searches a month just for these top four keywords. Um, the Low, the top of page low bid is around $7, and the top of page high bid is around $22. Uh, after, you should be getting about one new client from anywhere from one to four clicks, depending on how good your ads are. Uh, but yeah, that should be, I mean, giving you a, a guess of how much it would be. So four clicks of 22 would be about 80 bucks for a new uh, ads client. But I did go ahead and search just carpet cleaning Ogden, um, just because I know you're kind of more north than in Salt Lake. Um, but you do have options for Google Guaranteed, and those are great because the lead is guaranteed on your part, and the customer is guaranteed that you have business insurance and liability on their part. So it's a win-win for those. Um, but this is what I was talking about for those cost per clicks right here through rooms, I mean, zero res. And the, that's where you would be Google Ads. This is a great way to generate business quickly if that's something you are looking for. Whereas uh, we were talking about GBPs and it's okay that you're not in the top three right here, but there are plenty of ways to get into the map pack or Google business profile right here. The first is to make sure that your name, address, and phone number are the exact same all across the internet so you don't mislead Google. The next is grabbing reviews from your clients. Um, it's great because it shows Google that you're growing your business organically. And then adding your name, address, and phone number into things like Yellow Pages and Yelp is really beneficial because Google's like a big popularity contest. And the more that they see your name all over the internet, the more they trust you. And that won't just be in your local area, but in your surrounding areas as well. And then uh, about 30 to 40% of people stop right here because that's, they know that you're local in the area and that they can trust you. And the last thing to get ranking right here is to add geotag, geolocated, or branded photos weekly, because once again, it shows Google that you're growing your business organically. And then this is where your website comes in, and this is your top competitor for this particular keyword. And if we go to their website right here, um, we can look and see what they have going. Uh, they don't have too much content either. Uh, they have 570 words. Um, they do have a little, they have more referring pages and referring domains, and I didn't go over it with yours because you didn't have any, but what a, what that does is help with your strength and trust that Google has for your website. And it, pretty much these are backlinks, and what a backlink is is when one website links to another back, uh, website via clickable button or text. But not all backlinks are created equal, so you do want to make sure that you uh, stay within your industry and location whenever humanly possible, and that will also generate uh, having keywords be indexed on your website. Um, if we look at their keywords, oops, I guess I'll right here. You know, carpet cleaning Ogden, they're in the third position and they're getting 20 people to their website based on that, that keyword alone. You know, they're in the 
third position and they're getting, and these are rough guesstimates, but that's the type of buyer intent keyword where you have perfect cleaning Ogden, perfect cleaning Layton. Um, those are great keywords to have so that people go to your website and they're going to be leads as opposed to just traffic. And just, I did a quick search of Layton, Ogden, and Salt Lake. And you can see right here, there's about 1,700 searches that include perfect cleaning Salt Lake. There's 500 searches. Salt Lake City Carpet Cleaning, another 350. So just between those two, there's 850 people searching roughly each and every month for carpet cleaning. And when you have the more content, with those better buyer intent keywords, the more author authoritative backlinks and citations, you'll start to outrank your competitors and a percentage of these total volumes will start going to your website instead of your competitors. And then a percentage of the people going to your website will start to give you a call or form submit and depending on your closing rate, will turn into a customer for you. So Russ, I hope this is beneficial for you. I hope I uh, showed that uh, we can talk and move forward with whatever you're looking for. And I uh, hope to hear from you soon. Have a good one.